Trump says that it's here. It can't be that after all this effort. I see you're looking for me. Master Creator. In flesh. What can I do you? I'm the chosen one. I've gone through all these tests which I've passed. My country needs a queen. Are you sure you are ready to take this huge responsibility? Yes, I, I was born ready. Oh, what a strong attitude. But I like it. They are always like this. A strong personality. All you have to do is believe in yourself. That easy? Yes, but what is to come? It's not important. Make the way for the queen. So I hope you guys enjoyed my take on the royalty challenge for the next face towards Puerto Rico. This is crazy. We're in the top 20. But if you would love to see me get into the finals, the top 12, go ahead and vote for me. I'll leave the link down below. All you have to do is just click on the link. Um, you'll see Marily Rodriguez, which is my full name. And then you guys can vote once every eight hours up to three times a day. Um, again, I really would appreciate you guys' support. I love you so much. Thank you for getting me this far in the competition. Um, but yeah, without further ado, if you want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. And that's in order. Okay, so bienvenidos to challenge number two for the next Face Awards Puerto Rico. And as you guessed it, royalty. <laughs> royalty was our challenge and I'm really excited to show you guys how I did everything because everything you see here was DIY'd. Yes. So first popping on my contact lenses and the earrings that of course were DIY'd. They were four, five individual pieces and I just went ahead and glued them all together and vavam. Okay, now for the maquillaje, which you guys know means makeup. I'm gonna start priming my face with the NYX spray primer and I'm also going to go a little heavy with the Angel Veil primer just because we can have a lot going on on our face. Next, I'm going in with the NYX HD Studio foundation and I'm using the color medium. And because we are a queen, we need our face to look flawless and perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set that in with some of the NYX translucent powder. And I'm also just gonna bake a little bit so that it gives some highlight to my face. For the eyes, I'm gonna use this NYX eyeshadow base and then I'm gonna go ahead and set that in with some of the translucent NYX face powder again. And this is to make sure that our colors stick on and they last and they show up. Really quickly gonna go ahead and just fill in my brows with this NYX brow pencil in the color dark brown. And then I'm gonna apply this little piece of tape before I do my eyeshadows. You guys will see why. So I'm starting off with the NYX shadow in the color hot red. And I'm gonna go ahead and start blending that in little by little. I'm gonna start building it up and up and up until I have enough color that I need. For the crease, I'm going to add in this dark color from this little baby NYX palette and I'm just going to continue blending and blending and blending this out. It doesn't really matter if you get messy on the edges because again, that's what the tape is for. To cut the crease, I just added a little bit of the uh, NYX foundation and mix it with one of the Pro Mixers to make it lighter and that's what I'm doing here. And to set that in with some color, again, I'm going to use this NYX baby palette we use the lightest color on here and then very lightly i'm going to blend in again some of that hot red shadow from nyx to create a half sort of crease looking on a detailed brush i'm going to go ahead and add again some of that dark purple from the baby palette just to clean up the edges and give it a more sharp look i'm going to add a little bit of this lid tint in the color white lace romance and on top of that i'm going to go and add a little bit of this nyx glitter stuff and this is seriously the most satisfying part of everything. To my waterline, of course, I'm gonna add the famous jumbo eye pencil in the color milk. 
And to highlight again, I'm gonna use that lid tint in the color White Lace Romance again, and I'm just gonna pat that in with my finger. And for the under eye, I'm gonna start backwards. So I'm gonna use some of that dark purple color from the Baby Palette. And then I'm gonna go in with the Hot Red, blend that in and I'm gonna add a little bit of that orange shade to contour I'm also gonna use some of that dark purple color from the baby palette and I'm gonna go a little heavy on this because we want to find cheekbones paint on the mix that we created earlier to cut the crease you know the NYX combination and then I'm gonna start patting in some of the lid tints in the color gold standard and again some of that lid tints white lace romance now to my nose and my forehead what I'm basically doing is grabbing again some of that dark purple from the baby palette and I'm going to start just applying that onto the edges and the very forehead and then I'm going to use this gold color to add it on top to add some shimmer and gold to my face because I'm a queen. <laughs> I popped on these NYX Sinful Lashes and also some of their brown mascara to blend everything together. And here I'm going to start applying some of that NYX glitter stuff again and then I'm going to add some gold glitter on top. And using some lash glue, I'm just going to glue on these four little diamond crystal things on both sides of my cheeks. Taking the lightest part of this ombre NYX blush, I'm going to start highlighting my cheeks. And if you guessed it, you ain't wrong. This color is from the baby palette, the dark purple. I'm just going to start adding that all down my neck. And because I'm a Blatina queen, what I'm going to do is start painting on some of the markings that you find in our culture with some of the NYX white FX paint. For the lips, I added on some of the cottage cheese color from the um, NYX jumbo pencil. And on top, this lip color remover, which works like a lip gloss so I added it on top and on top of that I added some of the NYX glitter that I had earlier um, and I just stuck it on all around my lips now to prep for our DIY crown I'm just gonna start fluffing out the fro and then I'm gonna start painting back uh, some of the pieces in the front and as I stated this crown here was DIY piece by piece individually and here are pictures of the crown just being pieced together little by little glued on until we have our final result. The necklace and the arm piece were also DIY, so they were all just glued, cut, and pieced together from these little pieces that you see in the picture. And the skirt in the top, I went ahead and I sewed as well. So here, you're just seeing the pieces that I cut, sewed on some buttons, sewed on some decorations, and then, yeah, that's pretty much how I just got everything together. So again, if you guys want to see me move on to the next round and get into the finals, make sure you go to nextpuertorico.com slash face awards and look for Marily Rodriguez. Voting is from June 12th to June 26th. And I, of course, again, want to thank you guys so much for getting this far in the competition. That's all for today, and I will see you guys in my next video.